into today's 810 Rewind. I'll warn you now, 81 seconds isn't going to be enough time to cover the topic we're going to try to cover today, which is, of course, the sad passing of Giordano Ventura at the age of 25 due to a car wreck in the Dominican Republic. The first thoughts are what a man he could have been. At 25 years old, he had a lot of life left to live, and it leaves you in a, a situation of not knowing what the future held for him. And from the looks of it, the future held a lot for him. He's going to be with the Royals a long time. He was a member of a World Series winning team in back-to-back -back AL championships. And it seemed like life was firmly in front of him and tragically cut short due to a car wreck at the age of 25. My thoughts are he loved baseball. More importantly, his teammates loved him and they loved him for his passion. Did it always show on the field the way people wanted it to? No. He got in fights. He threw pitches to people. There were issues that came with some of the passion that came with it, but more importantly, he loved playing. You know, when I spoke with Les Norman today on the air, he pointed out the fact that he's like, hey, I, I wasn't the most talented player. And he thinks that it was his drive that got him to the big leagues. And you're not a Ventura, you could say the same thing. I, I think there was so much more in front of him as a pitcher as the Royals that to see it in this way is just devastating. Um, to hear from all the different fans that called the show during the day and to hear from all the different players and host on our station and talking about kids their own age and accidents they've seen or their kids have been in. It's crushing to see another life cut short this way. And when you hear heard Dayton Moore today on the teleconference, and you can catch it on our Facebook page if you heard him, when he was asked about, do you, you know, do you make it important to players from the Dominican Republic to talk about the safety of driving and how dangerous it is there? He said, every day. And repeated after another second, every day. You could hear in his voice the devastation and even pointed out to the fact that maybe it falls on deaf ears at times. He says it so much. But this is just yet another reminder with Marte dying as well, Oscar Tavares, and so many others um, losing lives because of car accidents in the Dominican Republic and for other reasons. Life is short, and I think we've come to realize that as well, but there are ways to improve the circumstances in which some of these, you know, some of these kids get themselves into. And, and maybe there's a way to hopefully... This doesn't have to keep happening is the end result. We'll talk more about it throughout the week, of course, on Sports Radio 810. I appreciate the time here on your 810 Rewind.